Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Bold Series. <laughs> and today what we're going to do is a 35 minute cardio abs a Tabata. We are gonna pump that heart and we're gonna work that core with a lot of fun. So sometimes we'll be standing, sometimes we're gonna be on the mat. We're gonna go back and forth. We don't need any equipment outside of your mat. Now, do I have jumping? Yes. Do you have to jump? No, I will always show you modifications, but just to get that heart rate pumping, right? We're gonna work in that Tabata where we work for 20 seconds with 10 seconds of rest, four activities, and then we'll move on to another activity and we're still gonna only have 10 seconds of rest. We are gonna move, shake, and have a lot of fun today, okay? So you're gonna have to be listening what's coming up next and we're gonna move and shake and have a lot of fun. So grab your mat, your sweat towel, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you have a chance to grab your mat, your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some step jacks right here. Let's get that heart pumping and that entire body moving and shaking. We've got three more like this. Two more. Last one. This time, let's open up that chest and totally kick butt. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, feeling mighty fine. We've got three more like this. Two more, last one. Let's take that elbow to the opposite knee. Still give me that bounce, right? We're still kind of pumping that heart, getting that entire body moving. One more on each side, and then let's kick that out straight and kind of try and touch that toe. Still give me that trunk twist. One more on each side. And now we're gonna step and push through our palm. Boom, okay, so starting to get that shoulder moving. Still pumping that heart a little bit. One more on your side, and then this time we're gonna go diagonal. Start getting that lateral trunk, oh yeah. One more on each side, and then we're gonna reach back, hinge down, okay, give me those hamstrings. Reach back, hinge down. Oh, that feels so good, let's do two more like that. Back, and down. Last time, let's go back, and down. This time we're gonna go squat, we're gonna go over and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Oh yeah. Still getting that heart pumping just a little bit. Okay, we got one more on each side. Squat it, lunge it, squat it, lunge it, squat it. See if you can grab your toes or your ankles. Go deep into that squat, press those knees back. Go deep and press, oh yeah. Three more like this, two more. Last one, let's stay low and just open up those hips, whatever is low for you. Oh, it always feels so good. We're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna take that other hand and rotate up towards that ceiling and come back. Use the other hand, rotate up and back. Oh yeah, rotating the other hand, switch sides. We got one more on each side, twist open. Other side, twist open, put those hands right there on those knees. Let's do a cat and cow, in and out, in and out for three, two, last one. Let's drive those hips open and drive that shoulder to the opposite knee and open up those hips just a little bit more. Still getting that trunk in there. One more on each side. Oh yeah, and then like right here in low, we're gonna go down. Nice and still open up that hip. That hip's gotta be moving, getting that inner thigh. Let's go really low. Pop that toe open if you can. Let's go really low. Pop that toe open if you can. One more on each side. Last one. Let's rotate right here into a low lunge. Try and straighten that front knee, come back. Rotate over that knee, then drive your elbow in as low as you can go. Try and straighten that knee, come back. Rotate over that knee, drive that elbow, and we're gonna do one more time. Try and straighten that knee. Come back, rotate over that knee. Drive that elbow in. Oh yeah, step that, and let's do the other side. Low lunge, try and straighten. Come right here, rotate over, drive that elbow in. Try and straighten that front knee. Come back, rotate over that knee. Drive that elbow in, last time. Try and straighten that knee. Come back, rotate over that knee. Step it back into plank. Drop those hips and extend up. And push into downward dog. 
Oh yeah, let's drop those hips. Extend up, whoo, and back. One more time, drop those hips, look on up, push back, let's walk that all the way up. We're gonna go right up and behind us right here. Up onto those toes for three, two, last one, let's open and close that chest. Oh yeah, feels so good. Two more, the last one. Here we go, big hip circle, boom. Boom, other direction, up and over. Other side, up and over, other direction, up and over. Here we go, boom. Big hula hoop, hula hoop it the other way. Let's finish with some big shoulders. Let's roll them the other way. Ho, ho, ho. Talk about what we're gonna do. Okay, we are gonna start with a drop squat. So we're gonna come down and you're either gonna hop or you're gonna step, but you're gonna move as fast as you can, right? So what I don't want is I don't want to hinge. I want to squat, okay? And I want you to go as all you can go that 10 seconds, okay? I mean that 20 seconds. We're gonna rest for 10. We're gonna do four rounds of it. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, down, and up. Come on, we got four rounds of this. Give me all you got. It should be pumping that heart. Feeling like we're really getting the heart rate pumping. Boom, boom, boom. Like I said, you don't have to hop. You have to move and step and you have to be as quick as you can. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one down, three more to go like that, okay? Woo, here we go. Three, two, one, boom, and back. Drop it down. Okay, you, do you have to touch the floor? No, but you have to squat down, okay? And then explode up, stepping or hopping, but moving and shaking. Maybe you can do one hop, the rest steps. Push yourself. Four, three, two, one. Rest, okay. Halfway through these, I know. Ready? Woo. Here we go, three, two, one. Down, and up, boom, and back. Drive it, move it, push it, let's pump that heart. Come on, squat it down, don't hinge. Work those legs. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's do one more like that, okay? I know, here we go, in three, two, one, down, and up. Come on, squat it out. After this, it's a quick rest. We're gonna do a lateral push up to a knee drive. And we're gonna do one side for 20 seconds, the other side for 20 seconds, okay? Finish here. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Push off and drive. You can either hop or just explode on those toes. Here we go, three, two, one. Push off and hop, push off, drive on that toe, same side. Use those arms, pump that heart, come on. Other side after this, okay? Good, looks like it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we gotta go the other direction now. Whew. Here we go, three, two, one, off, and drive. Push off, drive it up. Five, four, three, two, one. We're halfway there. Here we go, three, two, one. Step it down, drive it up. 15 more seconds. Come on, boom. Use those arms, drive, push off, drive. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Last one of these, then we're going down on the mat, okay? Woo, here we go. In three, two, one, step down, drive it up. Okay, when we're done with these, we're gonna go down on the mat. We're gonna do a crunch up to our knee, then we're gonna do a sit up to our ankle, okay? That's what we got next. Finish strong here. 
So we got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's go down on the mat. Okay, crunch up to the knees, sit up to the ankles in three, two, one, crunch, sit up, crunch to the knee, sit up to the ankle. When you crunch and when you sit up, drive from that belly button, not from those shoulders. Oh yeah. Come on, you got this. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Remember, you're pulling from your belly button. You're not pulling from those shoulders. Okay, round two. In three, two, one. Touch the knee. Reach up and touch the ankle. Okay, into that crunch. Into that sit up. Come on, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. I know, right? Woo, halfway through these. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Crunch the knees, crunch the ankle. Boom, and back, come on, boom. You're doing amazing, come on, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's do one more just like that, okay? Whew, here we go. In three, two, one, crunch up, sit up. Okay, we're gonna stay on our back. We're gonna do some, we're gonna keep our legs straight and we're gonna cross our feet when we're done with this, okay? So, you're not having to move yet. <laughs> Whew, here we go. We've got five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna try and touch our opposite ankle foot, right? And we're gonna just do some kicks and cross, okay? Keep that shoulder blade up there. In three, two, one, boom, boom, boom. Really touching the opposite ankle and crossing, keeping those shoulder blades off, right? So my rectus abdominis is acting. Those leg kicks are getting my lower abs and my twisting is getting that um, those obliques. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, we're down one. We got three more of those to go. How's that sound? Here we go. Three, two, one. If you're like me, I'm like, I don't know which one's harder. The cardio part or the abs? <laughs> Let's twist. Stay focused. Come on, you got it. Boom. Trying to touch the outside of that leg. Reach for that. Okay, five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, halfway there. I know, right? <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, oh, one. Here we go. Drive it over. Boom, boom, boom. Really reach, right? I'm reaching and twisting. <sighs> Ten more seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's do one more of these before we go up on, up top. Okay, here we go. Woo, catch that breath in three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the mat after we're done with these, okay? We're gonna, not, no, we'll come back to the mat, no worries. <laughs> we're gonna do a, a knee drive pull down. Okay, so no jumping. But we are gonna stick all four, all, the whole Tabata on one side. Really burn it out. Good finish here for four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's push that mat. Let's get off the mat. Okay, we're gonna pull down and drive that knee. Pull and drive in three, two, one. So stepping back, pulling down with those arms, driving up with that knee. Like, feel like you have a pulley when you pull down. It drives that knee. Pump that heart, boom, boom, boom. Come on. Yeah, you heard me right too. All four rounds on this side. Four, three, two, one, hand rest. Got it? <laughs> okay, round two, here we go. In three, two, one, drive it up, pull it down. Boom, 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 come on. <sighs> Give me some speed, right? The faster your arms go, the faster your leg will go, okay? 
five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Halfway down on this side. I know. Here we go in three, two, one. Okay, my front, the stationary leg can be burned out, right? That's whoo, working that body, that leg and that stationary one. I'm work, still working those abs as I drive that up. Come on, whole body, pull it down. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more time on this side. Here we go. In three, two, one. Drive it. Come on. Last one on this side. And then we're gonna switch sides, right? We gotta even ourselves out. Boom. 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 Come on. Drive it. Pull it. Can you go a little bit faster? Give me all you got. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we got the other side. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Drive it. Boom, boom. Pull it down and drive. The first round is always like, oh, it's a little easier, right? Because your leg's all fresh. <laughs> drive it up. Come on, pull it. All the way to the buzzer. Four, three, two, one. And rest. I know, right? Okay, we got round two. Here we go. In three, two, one. Drive it. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, drive that knee up, pull it down. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Halfway through these, okay? Then we'll go down to the mat. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Drive it up, pull it. Come on, boom, boom, boom. Drive it, pull it, move it, <laughs> shake it. Let's go. Don't slow down. Can you speed it up, right? It's really easy to start slowing down. Don't give me that. Give me that full capacity. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. We'll do one more. We'll go down the mat, okay? Whoo, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, after these, we're gonna go down to the mat. We're gonna do a side, we're gonna do a mermaid, where you kind of lock those legs together and crunch it up. Then we're gonna straighten that leg and do a jackknife. And we're doing four rounds on one side. Finish here for three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna be on my side. I'm gonna cross those legs over. I'm gonna crunch up, and then I'm gonna jackknife it, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Drive it up. Now, if you can't do both legs, you're gonna just do that top leg. Boom, right there, okay? So crunch it up, jackknife it. When you crunch, you're driving those knees together to that elbow. You're crunching from the top and the bottom for three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna do three more on this side so you get a lot of practice. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Crunch it up, jackknife it. Crunch it up, jackknife it. Like I said, you can do just that top leg. You don't have to do, and you do the best you can do, right? Modify where you need to, that's totally fine as long as you're pushing yourself. Four, three, two, one, and rest. I usually just recommend like attempt it, try it. Cause sometimes we surprise ourselves, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, drive it up. So a lot of times I will have my coaching clients, right, say, oh, I can't do that. And then I make them try it and they're like, oh, that was easier than I thought, right? We get between our ears and that's our biggest limitation, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. One more time on this side and then we'll flip, okay? Oh, baby. Here we go. In three, two, one. Drive it up. If you're thinking, man, I need help pushing myself. I need help with some ideas to get where I want to get. Okay, reach out. I love coaching. Got different options for that. Okay, 
Make sure you're being the best version of yourself. Finish here for three, two, one, and rest. I know, right? We're flipping sides, doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. In three, two, one. I know. Not a lot of rest today, man. We're keeping that heart rate up there. We're pushing ourselves. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One down, three more to go on this side. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. In three, two, one. Drive that up and crunch. Like I said, really push ourselves. A lot of times it's our limiting factor is our mindset. It's what I work a lot on in coaching, okay? So we can overcome so much when we fix between our ears. Finish here for four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're halfway there. Whew, I know. Thumping that hard no matter what we're doing, right? Here we go, three, two, one. Drive it up and then kick it up, come on. Crunch that up and then knife that dip. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Last one, okay? I know, then we're going up. Oh, here we go in three, two, one. Okay, dry this, kick this. We're gonna get rid of the mat, okay, after this. And we're gonna go up, we're gonna do four butt kicks and two cross feet, okay? Either hopping or just stepping quickly, okay? Again, you don't have to hop. Get to move and shake. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Hand rest. Okay. Four butt kicks. Boom, boom. Hop in or step in. And then two cross feet. Hop or step. Here we go. Three, two, one. Four butt kicks. Two cross feet. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. If you're not, you're doing fast. Right? Boom, boom. Moving and shaking. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Counting and doing butt kicks was a real challenge. Here we go. <laughs> In three, two, one, four butt kicks, two cross feet. Now, what if you do three? That's okay, right? Nothing, it's just that kind of idea, okay? I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, I did four on that one, or I did three. Am I moving and shaking? That's the point. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Halfway through. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, boom. Four, cross. Come on. Fast as you can go, whatever. It can be faster than me, it can be slower than me. As long as it's pushing you. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more, okay? Here we go. In three, two, one. Finish with these butt kicks and the feet cross. When we're done with this, we're gonna do skaters. Okay, we're gonna finish. Feel like we're speed skating, right? <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Skating low. Now you can step or hop, but you're staying low. And move it and shake it in three, two, one. Here we go. Stay low. Go as far lateral as you can go. Right? Hopping or stepping. Moving and shaking. If you can, try and do a couple hops, okay? Push it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One down, three more to go like that, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. Boom. Move and shake. Pop it, move it. Let's go, come on. 
five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Halfway through. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, boom, and back. Stay low. Drive it, move it. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We're doing one more, and then we'll finish out on the mat, okay? Woo! Here we go. In three, two, one, well, let's go. Okay, go. So we're gonna go down the mat after this, and we're gonna do bicycles, okay? You can put your hand behind your head or cross it in front of your shoulders. Come on, you got it, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, down for bicycles. Again, okay, you're gonna cross and try and get that elbow to that knee. Here we go, three, two, one, cross. Okay, keep those shoulder blades off the ground. Try and drive that elbow to the opposite knee and then drive with your heel on the other side. Okay, boom, boom. Boom, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Don't pull on that head, you can also cross it in front, okay? Here we go. Woo, in three, two, one. Just, I have my hands lightly on my, the back of my head, I am not pushing on it, I'm just resting them on there, okay? And I'm keeping those shoulder blades up off, and I'm twisting and trying to drive that elbow to that opposite knee. Come on, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Halfway through these. Whew. Here we go, are you ready? In three, two, one. Come on, keep strong, keep steady. All the way to the buzzer, right? Come on, this is what I like the Tabata, right? Only about 20 seconds. I can do 20 seconds, right? I can get through that mentally. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more. Last one in three, two, one. Drive it and twist. Okay, we're gonna stay on our back next, okay? So that means it makes it a little bit easier. We do some circle toe touches with some circle legs. It'll be a lot of circles. <laughs> Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna take my arms and I'm gonna go up and circle. And then I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna circle with my legs, circle up with my toes in three, two, one. Toe touch, come back, circle, and circle. I'm gonna stick with the same direction for my circles and go the opposite direction next time. Oh yeah, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. When you reach for those toes, get those shoulder blades off the ground, okay? And try to keep those legs straight and do a nice good circle. Fit round two in three, two, one. Circle up, I'm gonna go opposite direction on my circles for my toes. I have to really think about it, it's not natural. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're halfway through these. Thank goodness, I'm having a hard time coordinating these. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we got three, two, one. Lift for that sky when you do the nice good toe touch. Circle up and reach. You don't have to touch your toes, but you have to reach. Come on, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, the last one of these, okay? I know, I'm having trouble coordinating these. Here we go, three, two, one. Reach up and we're gonna rotate. Okay, we're gonna go to our a plank position, a low plank. We're gonna do some plank hip drops and some plank saws next. Okay, in that low plank position on those forearms, 
when we're done with this. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna go into that low plank. We're gonna rotate over four times on a saw, and then we're gonna touch down two times on each side in three, two, one. Find that plank position, four rock. You're rocking right over from those toes, keeping that nice solid plank position. Then you're gonna touch the hip on either side to the best of your ability, okay? We may not be able to touch down, but move in that direction, and then go right back to the plank saw. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, Woo. another set, here we go. In three, two, one, find the plank position and then four saws, rotating right off on those toes and then you're dropping that hip, bringing it up, dropping it to the other side. Come on, halfway there. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Dropping a lot of sweat, working hard. Okay, we're halfway through these, thank goodness, right? Here we go. In three, two, one, plank saw. Hip drops. Stay steady. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do one more like that, okay? Woo, finish strong, you got it. Here we go, in three, two, one. More plank saws. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a plank, and we're gonna reach towards the toes, and then we're gonna go up into a stand position. Okay, so we're gonna work the core, pump the heart, and four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna go toe touch, toe touch, and stand, and back. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Try and reach towards the toes. You don't have to touch that toe, but that direction. You don't have to hop. You have to move and shake. Okay, so step it up as fast as you can. Guess what, this is our last Tabata. We are almost done, so give me all you got, right? We're working the core, we're pumping that heart to finish strong. Three, two, one. And rest, okay. One down, three more to go. Okay, again, reach for those toes. In three, two, one. Now, I have a little bit wider than a plank stand, but we'll plank, okay? That gives a little bit more stability. Now we're trying to touch those toes. Boom, and I stand all the way up. Move as fast as you can. Move and shake, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, halfway through. Come on, you gotta stay strong all the way to the finish. Here we go, three, two, one, toe touch. Plank stand, boom. Nice job, come on. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, okay, this is our bold finish. Be bold enough to finish strong all the way to the buzzer. Here we go. Three, two, one, come on, push. Maybe you add a hop in this time, right? Maybe you go a little bit faster. Push yourself, let's go. You only have 10 more seconds left. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's go right there on our mat, down on our belly. Woo! And then we're gonna push up and then exhale. Let that sink in. That feels so good. Come back down one more time. Push up, sink in. And then we're gonna look over our right side and exhale. Then we're gonna look over our left side and exhale. Nice work. Then we're gonna come back into child's pose. A nice, good stretch. Exhale, really slow that heart rate down. Come back up, come down, press up. This time widen that stance, okay, into a frog and then sit back down in that child's pose with the frog. Okay, we're gonna get that pelvic floor and those inner thighs stretch out and relax. 
exhale. Nice job. Okay, we're coming up into a half kneel. We're gonna tilt that pelvis forward. And then we're gonna lean on over. Okay, really getting that pelvis, I mean, getting that hip flexor, those laterals. Okay, and then what I want you to do is I wanna take that other hand. I'm gonna open that knee up. We're gonna take the other hand, and if you can, wrap it behind and twist open. Okay, so we're gonna open up that hip. So open up that trunk. And then drive it a little bit forward. Ooh, yeah, big exhale through it. Come on. Okay, the other side. Tilt that pelvis forward. Lean on over. Nice, good stretch. Exhale through it. Get a little bit deeper in that stretch. Okay, then you're gonna push that knee. You're gonna take that arm if you can and twist open to the best of your ability, right? And you're gonna push that forward just a little bit. And you're gonna do a nice exhale. Feels so good, right? I know. Okay, then we're gonna come on up. We're gonna open up that chest a little bit. Oh yeah, for three, two, one. High five for rocking that way to pump that heart. Now, make sure you're grabbing some water, right? And then we're pouring in some high quality protein, right? To recover and repair, and then have a great day. Hey guys, did you love that workout? Did you know this is part of a series called Bold? Bold is about being courageous, about being strong. It's pushing us to be better, right? We're gonna push our strength. We're gonna push our cardio. We're gonna push our mentality to really get our body in that right place. Join me, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button so you never miss what's coming next. Really join in and have some fun with it. Also, make sure you join me on social media so that we can stay connected. I love to give tips and get, keep you informed about what's going on. So make sure we are friends, make sure you subscribe, and then have a great day.